zucchini field here at Stout Oak Farm. So today we're going to be talking about summer squash and zucchini. So this is one of those vegetables that once it comes, it comes in abundance um, and often people have questions about what do I do with it. Um, so we're going to be talking about um, how do you harvest it and what are some ways you can use zucchini and maybe what are the, and what are the differences between a summer squash and a zucchini. So first of all, harvest. Um, if you choose to grow your own zucchini, it's pretty easy to grow. The one thing to note is that it takes up a lot of space. When you plant your plants, they should be planted two feet apart. And then once they get growing, um, you want to harvest the fruit when it's still relatively small. Bigger is not necessarily better when it comes to summer squash and zucchini because like a lot of squash, you want to eat them when the seeds are small and tender. So when you harvest, you want to harvest them when the skins are very delicate that you can make a mark just by putting your thumbprint into the vegetable. Um, and in terms of size, when it comes to patty pan squash, which is what we call this type of summer squash, um, you want to harvest them when they're about the size of a teacup or larger. Um, for summer squash, it depends a bit on the, for yellow summer squash, it depends a bit on the variety, um, but usually no longer than 10 or so inches tall. Um, even seven inches is nice and tender. And the same with the zucchini. storage tip for zucchini and summer squash. A really important point is that you don't want to leave these guys out on the counter. You want to make sure that they're in your refrigerator. Um, you want them in the refrigerator, ideally in a bag, and if you keep them cool, they'll last for about 10 week days up to two weeks. Just make sure you get them home, get them in a cool place, um, and they're store, store well for about two weeks. And in terms of using squash, um, you can do a variety of things. When it comes in abundance, it's great to eat raw. Um, you can chop it up and use it as a vehicle for dips. Um, you can spiralize it and use it in recipes um, that I know Diggin has many of those. Or you could saute it, cube it, dice it, and throw it into a pan with some oil and garlic um, and eat it that way. Or you could roast it, which I like to do. Just put it in the oven at about 350, cubed up with a little bit of oil and whatever seasoning you like. Um, as well as you can throw it into baked goods to add a bit of moisture. Um, so it's really versatile and I think the key is that when you shop for it at the market you just want to make sure that you don't buy it too big and that the skins are nice and tender and they'll be delicious for you.